Thank you, thank you, Antonina. So hi, everybody. My name is Oren. I'm a product management director leading the ALM Octane. Happy to be here today and hope uh, you enjoy so far. Michael. And I'm Michael Smith. I'm a product manager for ALM Octane uh, here in the United States. So we'd like to thank everyone for coming. Uh, for this session, we want to talk to you about keys to successfully transforming your organizations to agile and continuous quality practices. So to help us with these keys, and for the sake of this discussion, we'll have Warren Act as our DevOps consultant as I play the role of a CTO looking to help in our organization's transformation. Hey, Warren. Hey, hey, Mike. So <laughs> before we get started, um, I need to highlight that uh, part of this presentation may contain roadmap information, which is subject to change. And here we go. <laughs> so Warren, yeah, um, our software products are constantly increasing in complexity. Um, and so are all the tools and technologies we use to build those products. We're no longer just one application, but in of integrated apps with microservices and external technologies across private and public clouds. We're also adopting more agile methodologies and DevOps practices to speed up a delivery of our products. This has brought us to look at more tools to help us manage all of this. Yeah, that's a real challenge. Looking at the latest World Quality Report covered more than 1,700 IT professionals around the world. As organizations try to adopt agile processes, 50% question said that the alignment of their tools uh, in development, testing, and operations is one of their biggest concerns. So I totally understand you. Yeah. Also, um. Our larger organization has uh, multiple teams working on several integrated solutions. Each time, each team is in different phases of agile adoption and a DevOps model um, integration. The one thing we share in common is the need to deliver quality software in shorter timeframes. Uh, the issue is we can't slow down a delivery of our current solutions to quickly adopt all these new practices. We need to improve as we are being productive. It's like having to repair an airplane while in flight or building a staircase uh, as we're using it. Our complexity grows still as we scale from teams to team of teams and from products to larger integrated solutions across our growing portfolio. And again, your concerns are totally understandable from the World Quality Report. 41% questions say that lack of transparency, the need to share metrics, has hindered their progress uh, to optimize their testing strategies. So, yeah, I, I guess you experience the same. And most amazingly, Nearly 50% said, yes, we leverage Agile to manage our development, but when it comes to delivery, we just don't have the time to test enough to assure quality and minimize risk. Uh, to uh, maintain Agile speed, they sometimes have to make shortcuts with quality assurance, and, and that's a pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in a nutshell, um, our organization is looking for a way to improve our processes, manage our growing complexity, and still deliver products quickly while maintaining high quality and lowering risk. It's a real challenge. Yeah. So through many years on this journey, working with hundreds of top accounts using Octane in production today, we have found that for successful transformation, there are four keys to overcoming these challenges as part of an agile transformation. The first one is around connectivity with existing DevOps platform and the ability to easily adopt new solutions. The second one is around quality at the speed of Agile, rather than sacrificing quality for agility, as we've seen, and we'll talk about this second. The third key is around velocity, but not just in small projects, but with the ability to grow to agile at scale with very large solutions and portfolios. 
The last key for successful transformation is around visibility or the ability to report, measure, and improve our strategies and execution across our organization. Okay. Um, so with all the challenges we've been talking about, how can I improve connectivity across my development teams as we adopt these more agile and DevOps methodologies? So as you correctly mentioned, the DevOps ecosystem and software complexity is ever growing. With many different teams working on different projects or different parts of the same project, where each of them can choose whatever tools work right for the team, where uh, processes may vary from one team to another. The result of all this can be a lack of alignment, uh, failure to measure, and as an outcome, slower velocity and lower quality. What we need is a single source of truth that will center all this information coming from so many different tools and resources and connect them all into one location. LM Octane is not just a product, but more like a hyper-connected platform that can integrate with almost any tool on, on the entire ecosystem. Octane will manage our agile backlogs, epics, features, user stories, and tasks. It will centralize all our quality aspects from manual tests through defects and security vulner vulnerabilities, and it will store and, and manage each and every code commit as a linkable entity. Now, when we integrate Octane uh, to our continuous integration server, like Jenkins, Bamboo, GitLab, others, which is in turn connected to our source code management system, our test tools and frameworks, then we start to continuously getting into, our, into Octane all our automation test results, which are running as part of the CI pipeline continuously. How many test runs? It can be hundreds or even thousands of test runs every single day. We'll collect each and every code commit and we'll, uh, and all information regarding code builds and code coverage. And finally, if we manage our backlog on other solutions such as Jira or Azure DevOps, Octane can synchronize those backlogs into its backlog management module. And with all these integrated into Octane, all that we need to do and this is the heart of Octane, is connecting the dots. So Octane will connect it all from the top level organizational epics down, down to the single code commit, from the agile user story to the tests that are covering it, so that at any given point in time, we can answer a simple question. Are we ready to deliver? And Mike, you can answer, you should be able to answer this question at any given point in time. Are we ready in terms of content and deliverables on time? And if you're ready in terms of quality, Octane will help us or will help you ensure that the quality is everywhere and stays at the center of anything that we do. But a successful agile transformation is not only about connecting the dot, it's also about connecting people. The cultural shift from traditional methodologies and habits can be a lot easier when everything is transparent and teams can easily connect. When teams work in silos, it becomes harder to get a clear picture of what work, uh, 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 what it begins, uh, by whom, and, and uh, when it's going to be completed. And Octane makes it easy to teams to collaborate more effectively through its notification system, through its Slack and Microsoft Teams integration, and through its Agile uh, team uh, dashboards. Yeah, cool. So um, I, I hate to admit it, but our teams are like many in that previous poll. Uh, in too many cases, our quality seems to get sacrificed for agility. We deliver fast, but that often comes at the expense of defect leakage. How would you suggest we manage this? Great question. So the ability to continuously and instantly test new code in Agile's, uh, in Agile is, is really the safety net of, of our Agile developers and, and, and Agile team. When testing effort is shifted left and regression tests run over new code at the shortest possible time, engineers can get feedback from 
the system on code issues and security concerns quite immediately and can solve them on the spot before context is lost and way before these reach uh, the production environment and eventually the customers. So that's why continuous testing is key for the team's ability to deliver code at high speeds without sacrificing quality. So when Octane is connected to our continuous integration system, as, as I said, it will let us first shift the testing to the left and get feedback from the system as close as possible to the code commit uh, time. Uh, second, it will focus us on the real problems and will help us fix problems faster. Octane will focus on the latest taste failure, will group them into categories and spot us on the most urgent regressions and security issues. Octane will suggest or even nominate an owner to solve new issues revealed so that on the next CI run, the build will be green rather than red again. Lastly, we believe that history matters. With so many builds and runs out there, there must be a platform like Octane that will tell us over time where our bottlenecks are, where we continuously fail, and where we are uncovered and need to improve. Talking about security, with Octane's integration with various card scanners, and so our agile developers, not only will they get a feedback from Octane on new regressions, but they will also be notified on new security concerns to be fixed almost at real time. And last, around quality and the speed of agile, goes without saying Octane provides a built-in support for manual testing. Manual testing is here to stay. Um, Behavior-driven development tests, and pretty uniquely, the ability to run tests on demand by triggering directly the CI system without the need to wait until the next CI run. So to summarize, Octane built-in quality framework supports all types of testing concepts, manual testing, automated testing on demand, and of course, continuous testing through robust integrations with any significant tool out there. Cool. Well, there's another issue we face, and that's managing our, our agile adoption. Our smaller agile project teams are easily managed. Some use sticky notes on the wall, but as projects are scaling up, we're struggling to manage between and across all our projects and teams. Can uh, Octane help us there? Yeah, of course. So as you just said, small projects are simple. Octane provides a great framework to manage the team and its backlog. Individual developers will be able even to track their work directly from various development environments. And the team will be able to make planning and collaborate during sprints and execution on a super friendly agile planning board. But this is trivial. The problem begins, as you said, when projects grow up and, and we are requested to manage very large projects products, solutions, or even portfolios at high speeds. With multiple teams working on different backlogs, uh, integrating with different tools, as you mentioned before, applying different methodologies and processes, it becomes very challenging. Let's take an example. So Advantage Inc. is an organization which has multiple portfolios, internal IT and customer facing ones. If we look at its core business portfolio, the Advantage Consumer, it might be cons uh, consisted of several large solutions, such as the uh, Advantage uh, uh, Music, Advantage Video, and Advantage Shopping. So Mike, if you have Amazon in your, in your mind, you're not uh, uh, far from the truth. So just to deliver the shopping solution, we probably need to develop four different applications, the web app, the payment, warehousing application, and the shipment. Each of these may have its own backlog. Our, uh, uh, it, it may have a team or several teams working on, on each of these solutions. It 
each team may have its own processes uh, and, and own release trains, but they all need to interact and work together. So the end user will have a unified experience from start to end, while each program needs to keep liberty of backlogs and, and execution. They can share tests where possible, defects where applicable, and they should be able to track dependencies between one another. There are several frameworks to deal with scaling Agile up, but the most popular is scale, the Scaled Agile framework or SAFE, uh, and Octane is SAFE compliant. So here is an example of Octane's ability to manage three programs in, in parallel. You see here the three programs on the screen. Each program will have its own backlog uh, tracking, while all programs can share common tests if they're sharing common model, modules, for example, or defects or other entities where it makes sense. So while each program is self-managed, Octane will let us track dependencies between the program's backlogs and will help us get control on the ultimate goal, which is a consistent delivery of projects, large solutions and portfolios. And that will help us deliver fast in Agile at very, very large scales. Claro is the largest telecommunications company in South America. They use Octane to help them better align solutions with strategy that are scaling to very large agile projects. Okay, so Octane can help us manage large agile solutions and portfolios with smart connectivity across our ecosystem and still make sure that quality is always present and handled. Um, as our managers, whether R&D, quality, product, or business, uh, we need to be able to track progress and make sure that we're hitting our targets of value, quality, and security. Um, how can we better manage that? So after connecting all the dots, uh, uh, reporting is key for control and taking actions. On this sense, reporting is Octane's bottom line. Tracking metrics help you understand changes or shift in your current practices. But while metrics are essential, gaining insights from your data requires more than collecting the data. You need a way to identify things that are likely to happen before they even happen. When combined, you have the right feedback loop to continuously improve software delivery. LM obtains embedded dashboarding and insight capabilities allows enterprises to exploit vast amounts of data. You so can customize uh, uh, built-in dashboards, templates, and take advantage of over 45 common metrics to visualize development pro uh, progress and quality. With insights, you can observe trends, identify bottlenecks, find correlations, and detect anomalies in your development cycle. Let's see some examples. So here is at the top left is a quality heat map report, which will identicate for each application module its overall quality status. It will tell the quality owner or manager whether a certain area is on a green or red state based on a set of KPIs that he or she has defined, no matter which release, sprint, or milestone we are on. The dashboard can show a summary of currently open defects and their status per uh, each uh, uh, application modules, as can be seen on the bottom left. Then the quality owner will be able to check the team's manual to automation strategy progress. Each organization, as I said, wants automation as a safety net, and we want to make sure that our strategy around automation is, is progressing well over time. And, and, and that's one example that can be seen at the bottom right graph. Octane will let us know uh, how many code commits were added to the various modules. And based on smart analytic algorithms, we'll be able to show how many of these commits are more risky and need to get more attention either by automatic tests as seen on the uh, middle graph at the top or by manual test coverage as seen on the rightmost graph. Cycle time widgets will help us track slowdowns or improvements of our delivery velocity across releases. 
and obtain insights will help us get down to the root cause of bottlenecks so that we can continuously improve. To learn more on Octane's analytics insights and our AI technologies, I invite you all to join my session tomorrow titled Optimize DevOps and Agile with AI-based insights, where we'll address some of the more interesting directions and new capabilities around uh, reporting analytics and AI. Nationwide, the Blink Society uh, uses Octane to get full visibility across all aspects of the quality management process. This visibility allows them to find more defects, decrease risk, and manage the velocity of their SDLC processes. Hey, all of this is sounding great. Uh, what more can you tell me about adopting Octane across our organization? So first of all, Octane is a fully web-based application, is a browser agnostic. Uh, second, while supporting all popular methodologies from waterfall to agile, Octane will let us customize almost anything around workflows, lists, fields, and business rules. It allows different teams to evolve processes over time and always adjust methodologies and processes to what fits the team and the business needs. And around deployment, so no two organizations are alike and how they want to consume or acquire their software. So MicroFocus offers a number of flexible options in how you deploy Octane. So over the cloud, or one option is over the cloud, is our lately announced Value Edge platform on the cloud to maximize value with faster provisioning and easier maintenance for a SaaS model. The second option is through our public clouds. Third, uh, upcoming very soon as containers officially. And last but not least, many of our customers can see Moctane as an on-premises installation. All possibilities are there uh, to choose from. Now you ask about adopting Octane and regarding that, the migration from other tools like ALM Quality Center, Jira, or other tools, we have got a migration solution to make the data migration easy and smooth. Our friendly migration team in R&D will be happy to assist with guidance and advice. And for more information, feel free to contact the R&D team directly on go.octane at microfocus.com. So to summarize, Mike, Octane helps organization achieve a successful transformation from traditional to modern, from portfolio management through agile planning, development, continuous testing, release management, and a wide set of integrations across the ecosystem. I'll just end up um, with the with with last quote from, from a senior manager, Kellogg's, which, who describes how Octane helped their agile transformation evolve from waterfall to agile and from quality, ALM quality center to ALM Octane by supporting not only agile planning, but also quality as a center of the agile and DevOps evolution. Well, that sounds great. Thanks, Oren, for all your um, insights and help here. And thank you, Mike, and thank you all for listening. We hope you enjoyed the session and uh, are wishing you an uh, enjoyable universe experience. Let's take some uh, questions from the audience. So over to you, Nina. Thank you, Michael and Oren. That was a great overview. Um, let's go, yes, for some questions from the audience. Um, first one is related to um, the reporting capabilities of Octane. Um, do you have some best practices on what metrics to track per different personas and on different domains? Yeah, absolutely. So um, Octane comes with a set of uh, built-in templates for dashboards. So if you go on the dashboard uh, screen, you'll be able to see uh, uh, built-in templates with, with recommended widgets per persona, like the, the quality owner, the dev owner, etc. So you can definitely start from there and customize it as much as needed. So yeah, you can start with the best practices as suggested by us, but of course, everything is customizable. 
Thank you. Um, next question um, is, uh, can we track releases and processes using Octane? Yeah, absolutely, yes. So, so with, with Octane, you can not only releases, but, but you can plan your milestone. If you have you know, uh, standalone targets during a release, of course, you can manage your sprints. And, and the process is also a new module that, that was uh, added during the last year. And uh, uh, I do recommend everyone to, to take a look at our new pro release process management module, which helps organizations manage processes that are not necessarily part of the backlog. So if the backlog really manages our features, our deliverables, our quality, et cetera, uh, process management will help us really track the needed activities around or during our release process. So with a, a smart system of stages in a process, you can move from one stage to the next stage based on some activities that needs to take place towards a successful release, such as deployment of new lab environments or uh, um, new documentation or, or any other task that is not a direct part of, of the backlog. And uh, using smart quality gates, Octane can help you take a decision or even decide for you if you're ready to go from one stage to another. And that's through the process management module that helps us achieve even greater uh, release targets. Great, thank you. Uh, next question is about uh, BDD. Um, can BDD test uh, converted, can be converted to uh, automated test? And what BDD testing frameworks uh, do we uh, support with Octane? So frameworks, I'll just start, start, start with the, the framework. So, so we talk about uh, uh, Cucumber, JBehave, mm -hmm. and, and many more. We've just extended uh, uh, Octane's uh, supported uh, number of supported environments. So, so you can take a look. Around BDD automation, of course, this is, this is the ultimate target of BDD. So once the BDD uh, specification file is created and, and the scenarios in the files are there, uh, then you can start always immediately with manual testing. The purpose would be that eventually uh, a dev tester or, or, or an automation engineer will use those spec files and, and scenarios to automate each and, each and every one of those and to, re to uh, eliminate the need to use expensive manual tests. So, uh, Octane does provide this integration, of course, uh, with various BDD frameworks that can help us automate the test and, and close the loop between the business persona who can define for us the, uh, the spec file or the specification of the feature, and eventually with the tester and the, automa the automation test, which, as I said in the session, is our safety net uh, to, to really uh, keep us covered on the spec definition. Thank you, Oren. Um, I don't see further questions uh, coming up. Anyhow, please feel free to keep uh, submitting them. Uh, our team is uh, online and will uh, respond via chat. Get social with us. Twitter, LinkedIn, Get Social, Microfocus Universe.